This one had all the defense in it for a second straight season. That was the that was the first offensive play of the game. Connor Perry sacking Cody Adams and then the interception in the second quarter. Adams that finds Will Hallock. He returns it, fumbles it. Fairhaven, though, or excuse me, Bellows Falls gets it back. They recover on the one. They would sneak it in on the next play. Then it's Eli Albee with the QB sneak, scoring the touchdown. Low scoring game, defensive battle, 14 to 7. Your final from Fairhaven. Taking a look at the rest of the Division II slate, North Country continuing to wreak havoc. They beat MMU 34 to 6. And then Woodstock from Division III rises up to the occasion and takes down U32 54 14 your final from Woodstock BFA St Albans is hosting the Sea Wolves Hunter Johnson and Co the color guard came out and a beautiful national anthem was performed by Wyatt Trombley on the alto sax Sea Wolves though are the ones starting hot that's Hunter Johnson flying into the end zone 13 nothing combo team BFA, we know they have not scored a point all season long. They're looking to change that. Gordon Lierve finds Corey McNulty. First touchdown, first points of the year for the Bobwhites. They're going crazy in Franklin County, but they're quickly quieted down. Anthony Buffard out of the backfield, rips off a huge chunk of yards. BFA gets away with a horse collar tackle. A couple of plays later, Ahmed Diawara, touchdown machine, finds the pylon. Another blowout win in Franklin County, 69-6. Seawolves are 4-1. How about that? It's homecoming weekend in Middlebury. The Tigers painting the field for the special occasion. They're up 28-0 at the half. Opening kickoff for the second half. How about sophomore Brady Lloyd? A house call putting his gents up. 35-0. Brattleboro takes over on the next drive, and Sean Kaza gets picked off by the sophomore Brady Lloyd. Fourth quarter now, second unit is in for the Tigers. Ben DeBishop bounces to the outside. He finds the pylon. Tigers dominate 52-0, and head coach Jed Malcolm is excited about his team starting to build some momentum allowed the younger guys to get some playing time, which is incredibly valuable. And uh, it also keeps our starters healthy. So it keeps them, you know, out of out of danger. And uh, and it's it's good morale for the rest of the guys that come in and work hard every every day and, um, you know, watch a lot of film and, and, and they put in the time. So it's good for them to get some reps. And, you know, for them to hold the shutout too was a, was a big deal for, the, for that second string D. Only one other Division One game in action. Hartford topping Mount Anthony. 35-0 on the road. That puts Hartford back in the driver's seat. Here's what the Division I standings look like. CVU and Rutland control the top two spots. Both still undefeated. Both of those teams play tomorrow. Then the Seawolves sneak into the top four. Middlebury's there as well with only three games remaining. After this week, time really flies.